Hello and welcome back to the Fire Nation. So, I noticed at the end of the last episode, somehow we've just made 3,000 uh, gold. So what I think we should do, we'd spend all of that on retinue. It's just as much as we can. Go crazy with it. Look at how much retinue we have. We have 26 retinue. That's another 6,000 troops. And we still have 600 left. So that's perfect. Uh, we'll get them at the end of these wars and go off and do more wars with them. That's an amount that's actually, like, scary. We can bribe this person to stop and want us to lower taxes. Sure, bribe them. Uh, we want another uh, battle, which now means that we can offer peace and force demands to this person, giving us this land, which we can now just give away to um, Dua Lubu. Uh, we'll give him that one and lower holdings. Nice. Uh, head over here. Uh, we do want to raise some boats here if we can. Yeah. We probably want to move over as well before the army becomes too big to move with just a tiny amount of boats. Um, you, I want you to go beat up that revolt and then we'll get our boats to come and meet you up here. There we go. That's fine. It should be a very, very dead revolt. Wait, we only have three commanders who actually are legit commanders? Oh. I guess that's why it says we need new commanders. Yeah, five new commanders. Okay. Fine. Whatever. Just pressuring me a little bit here. But that's fine. We get all of them. Wait, why am I avoiding this guy? No idea. Right. That gives us some reasonable numbers of commanders. Oh, and we need a new we need another new commander. Okay, uh, that one. And we need a general. We need to put in Chin as our general. There we go. We're good. Let that guy rot. Uh, we're actually gonna sell him for uh, 46 gold. Nice. We're probably losing a lot of money right now, but that's all right. Because we've got our retinue reinforcing at max. Yeah. Losing 63 a month, I think. Or is that a year? I think that's a month. Yeah. Mm, okay. Uh, probably reinforce at half speed. Would seem like a sensible thing right now. We're still losing 6 with that, but... Oh! Another one just rose up in the same province. Nice! Another free win. There we go. Um... I'm gonna just execute you. There we go. Where's our boats? Not you. Where's our other boats? Still haven't made it here yet. Okay. That's fine. Uh, we can actually fit everyone on these boats. We could put them on here. Go beat up the other revolt as well. Yeah, there we go. All the way in here. Uh, wait for us to arrive. People are becoming commanders and being good at their job. We have an idle court sage, so we'll put in Zingle. Zingle can stop being commander. We need to put in a new commander. Okay. No, oh, no, we don't. We're, we're good. We're, we're, we're all good. Okay. Inherited the province of Jana. Uh, yes, of this one. So we'll give that away. Uh, inherited that one. I think we also inherited another one at the same time. So we'll give uh, Akko this land. There we go. We need a new commander. I can already see it coming. Yep. Anytime we change anything, make sure to put in a new commander. Right. Can we land here? Yeah. Oh, we could just drop our troops on top of them and yeah, not quite what I was aiming for, but yeah, 100% war score. Worst demands. Uh, how much are we losing now? So losing eight. So if we're only losing eight, I'm gonna set them to not reinforce. That means that we make money next month, which then means that we can afford them for like another couple months. There we go. That's perfect. Uh, yeah. Come down here. That actually, wasn't a good. Thing for us at all that little bit there because we lost a huge chunk of our uh, original retinue as well. There we go. We can put ourselves at that amount of reinforcement. We should be able to afford it for a little bit now. Um, 
yeah, let's save up our money. See what else we want to do. Still have a couple of wars down here, which might lead to something. Uh, we also have that. Those retinue, which I don't want to pay for. Uh, we have this army, which I don't want to have to pay for. And I have this army that I don't want to have to pay for. Your new court sage is going to be... Uh, Suzuki. Uh, Suzuku. And other... Uh, like, what, that's what his actual name is. Here we go. Land. Land. Drop him on that little land. Yep. Uh, put that person as a commander. Need another one, or are we good? I think we're good. Yeah, there we go. Now we have some uh, land we want to give away. We actually have two bits of land we want to give away, so. We set the list. Put this guy in the first one. This guy in the second one. There we go. Nice. Continue gaining a little bit of money. Uh, wait, are we on half? We're on half reinforcement. We're we gonna lose 12 months still. Range marriage. You'd like to marry this person? Sure. Why would I say no? We're gonna start three states, which are de jure that. That's worth. I think that's worth usurping. Yeah. So let's usurp this one. Uh, now we're going to give that to this person. I'll give you that. No, that state. Cancel says no. Okay. What does it cost to buy? Fa 40 for favor. Okay. Right. Uh, this one I want to call in council support. There we go. Perfect. Now we can give away that to the sky. What's the state of Gayu? And didn't I give that away already? I think I did. Uh, I think I probably gave meant, or at least meant to give it away. There we go. Perfect. You can have it. Right, what else can we usurp? Probably nothing because we have no money. That seems like a reasonable uh, assumption to make. Uh, okay, we're now at zero again. Let's not reinforce our retinue for a little bit. Uh, where is our rent? It's over here. We can probably disband these tr uh, boats as well. They're probably costing us, you know, at least half a gold a month. Okay. Nice. We can usurp things again. So do we need a hundred gold to usurp? Yeah. It's probably not a hundred percent worth it then. I think that one was good because it, it means that they might declare for that land. Which they didn't. But that's fine. They might declare for it at some point. This is all desert. The plains that have severe winter. Mountains that are temperate, I guess, is our best option over here. Don't really like it, but we'll go for it. We could probably win against Basing Say right now. Probably. But I kind of want to crush him entirely. Do we take negatives in the mountain as well? We take even more, because it actually has double disease in that province. Double disease. There, there's nowhere where we can stand. I just want plains. We're, we got plains, no disease. Steps, mild winter. We're gonna have to go over here, aren't we? Yeah. Should give us the normal winter. I think it's a little bit annoying. Took a bunch of uh, attrition there. Uh, we'll just go to full reinforce speed there. Not sure if that's the best way of doing it, going full and then going back to uh, low and then going back to full and going back to low. But it seems to do alright. There we go. Um, also, each army that we get to full strength means that we pay less money. So I guess there's a lot, a bit of logic there for going full, but I'm still not sure if it's a good logic. Uh, I think we have to take the global supply limit increase. There's no way that this is not the right option. It also means that we could get more retinue if we wanted to. What's our max retinue size now? 59,000, so that's good. So let's go to one down here. So these are like 16,000, 3,000. So we could maybe stand on some of these provinces now. Okay, without taking attrition is what I'm meaning. Okay, uh, we've been at peace for too long. Yeah, no, tell me about it. Um... I guess that's what it just did, really. Uh, what do you own? You own that bit of land there. Okay, who owns this land? You also own that land. No, you own... You own that single province. Oh. Well, that seems like a very good target. 
your Nat Settlement and your Nat State. Yeah, you seem like a great target for us. You're, you're like our ideal uh, target. Province of uh, Dowley. Oh, perfect. Well, that's good. Uh, we're going to keep information to ourselves there. Continue walking over here. Are we on reinforced or not reinforced? No, not. We'll go half speed now. There we go. Flare war. Oh, you control a lot more, actually. Don't suppose they'll accept vassalization right now. They do like our power. Is there anyone who's underneath us who would accept uh, vassalization? What's divided? Oh, it's a canyon that's uninhabitable. This is not going to accept vassalization, I don't think. Let's say piracy. Um, let's say piracy is the current uh, religion of the land, which is a little bit odd. Okay. Uh, barbarians? Would they come underneath us? Maybe. You're probably not going to because you're you're a king. Ah, false beliefs as well. He also doesn't believe I'm powerful, which is weird. Uh, I'm just seeing if there is anybody who's not underneath us already, who should be underneath us. I don't think there is. Mm. It's a logic might be to go and basically um, like try and just push for Fire Nation in general like um, if we gave away some nations that weren't within ours, we could get them to go and try and make the yeah, it doesn't make any sense what I'm saying I was trying to suggest if we support nations outside our own, but there are no nations outside our own, so like we could grow them and then just take them over, but that just doesn't exist so kind of a point that doesn't really matter. Um, let's see, how many mi like, some of these I'm trying to figure out how, how many some have. So these all have like 200. Middle ones all up, but we, so yeah, we we're about, yeah, we have some that are about to stop costing us money as we're getting out of here. Uh, we inherited a new province. Nice. We'll give it away. Yeah. It's this kind of being at peace malarkey isn't very good. It leaves us with nothing to do. Right. Um, we could start declaring in here, but the problem with in here is they're all underneath the Earth King. Now, we can beat the Earth King. In fact, I'm almost certain if we declared on the Earth King now, we could win that war. Because all we need to do is siege all of his land. So, all everything in here. What's the, what's the, there's no attrition in here. Like, this is all normal. We could probably do it. Does he already have men raised? That's a question, isn't it? Does he have any commanders? How, uh, I just want to see if he has any commanders in his court or something. So we can just go... Oh, there you go. You're a commander, right? You're, you're, you're a commander. His queen's a commander. Okay. Where is she currently? She's currently in here. Oh, but she's also uh, researching tech. Okay. Any of you guys commanders? Uh, no. Okay. Any of your vassals, Commander? Your Commander. Okay, where, where are you at? So he must not have his men raised. That's what I'm getting at here. I think we could do it. We could definitely do it. We could take Bassing C. Well, we'll maybe wait just a little bit more. Wait a little bit more. Make sure we're as strong as we can be. Remembering that our entire army is also, um, like, firebender, so they're stronger than base units. So, even though we may have less than he has, unless all of his are earthbenders, which they could be, we should win there. And all of ours here are retinue, so even, so what we could do is we could go in with our retinue, beat as many people up as we can, and then come in with our big guns, say, like, right after. So we'll see whether that's a good, whether that's something we can actually actively do. Uh, he wants one of my titles. Oh, right. Uh, which one do we want? Barony of the North Wall, I guess? Sure. Uh, that's probably going to be the best one. Boil Where's Boiling Rock, actually? Oh, that's the one I hate. Yeah, you can have Boiling Rock. And never, ever go and get the people from there, so you can have it. You usurped a province, which I actually just completely missed. Uh, although I can go into him now and just see what province he took. That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, we inherited a province from this guy. Uh, so we're going to go and... We're going to declare a new campaign. Oh, good. 
Uh, on to Nan Chang, I guess, because we know that we have these two, so on to Nan Chang. Um, right, recruit a court physician, so we just need to put in a court physician, that's fine. Uh, we'll put in that guy. Kefang, down here. Um, let's have a look at that. Probably give it to this guy. Lots of Yuki. There we go. Right. Um, I think we're going to end the episode here. Because what I want to do in the next episode is the Claire and Bassing say. I think I've decided. I think that's what we want to do. Um, we could try and get all the desert here. But it's just going to take too long. I think what we've done, we've surrounded it. We've taken out most of their heavy hitters. The main bulk of their allies like a Basting Saints allies that cause us problems are in here and they're all single province people. So it's it's going to be um, an easier war for us to just walk in. We're also going to raise up all of our men and we have, what, well, how many do we have now? We have 30,000 men. So if we head in here with our 10,000, basically on the logic that for them to raise up all their men, how many do they have personally? Let's have a look here. Personally, they have 3,000. So that means that um, it's only going to be the lower vassals who have it. So if we can beat them up one at a time, we can actually stop them from getting their 20,000 army effective, like of using it while we wait for our main force to all arrive. So it's going to be really good. I think that's going to be the best way to handle the situation. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.